Okay, there's two methods of getting to negative harmony. There's the one method where you have the chord from the root of the scale, like C major in the key of C, and you go up to its fifth, and then you reflect the intervals downward. So you have the third upward from C to E, and then you go a third downward from G to E flat. The third upward, minor third from E to G, you then take a minor third down from E flat to C. So you have C, E flat, G. Now this is only done down to the triads in my other video about modal negative harmony and <clears throat> in the other method where you use the circle of fists or you use the uh, you go from the fifth and the root of the chord and then you step inward until it gets to where there's two notes right next to each other that are the major minor third and then you draw an axis in between those and then count chromatically upward from the major third or downward from the minor third uh, and you exchange uh, the notes that way and substitute <clears throat> that method ends up with the exact same chords when you go to the seventh chords it uses the minor key nomenclature numeral nomenclature for the chords which has the same numeral just uh, different qualities and some are flatted like the the six is flatted three is flatted, and the seven is flatted, and those are all also major, whereas in the, the major key nomenclature of the triads version, uh, like I used in the video, has the, uh, those are all minor, and they're not flatted. The method is the same for the modes as it is for the Ionian Aeolian, and it arrives at the same, same keys as the method where you go up to the uh, fifth and then reflect down that I have in the video modal negative harmony. But you have different chords because they are the seventh chords. So if you reflect down from the G, reflect the seventh chord, you get to the C, and then you go up a major third, like you do from G to B, uh, you're going to have a flat. You're going to have A flat, C, E flat, G. So you're going to have an A flat major chord, which is going to be a four chord. In minor nomenclature, there'll be a flat six. Now, for this uh, exercise and for this explanation, I'm going to convert the minor nomenclature to the major nomenclature as it was in the other video. And here you can see that the two substituted by a three, the three with the two, the four with the one, five with the seven, the six with the six, the seven with the five, the one with the four. To do the Phrygian, you're going to start on E in the lower note and B on the higher note, and you're going to go inward, and you're going to end up on G and G sharp. And then you're going to draw the axis in between those. And uh, from G sharp, you go up to A, A sharp, B, C, to C sharp. And then from G, you go down to G flat, F, E, E flat, and D. And for this, you know, see this E Phrygian, the E minor 3 chord. And then it has the axis of uh, negatives. And then what ends up, because you, you have the E from an E minor 7, which is B. And over here at the uh, left where it says E major 4 chord, which is what you end up with. You have a B, and then you have the E G from the minor 7 chord, and that is negative G sharp, and then you have the B from the E minor triad, and then the negative is E. So you have B, G sharp, E, which is an inversion, second inversion of an E major triad. And when you do the rest of them, rest of the notes for the uh, 13th chord or for the uh, rest of the triads, you end up with the key of B and the 7th chord. You just go one more step to the D, which has the negative of C sharp, and then you have C sharp E, G sharp B, which is the C sharp minor 7 2 chord. And then at the bottom here, I have first E Phrygian in the key of C major uh, chords and their functional uh, numerals, the 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5, and 4. And then underneath that I have the triad substitutions from the negative harmony. And underneath that I have the seventh chord substitutions from the negative harmony. <clears throat> and it's going to be the same with this method or with the circle of fifth method or with the up to the fifth and then reflect downwards method. All three methods have the exact same uh, chords. There's one 
chord that differs from all the others, and that is the half diminished chord in the key. When you're doing the chromatic method or the circle of fifths method, you when you count from the fifth down and the root up, because it's a flat fifth, you're going to both land on the same note. So there's not going to be one where there's two notes uh, right next to each other. There's going to be two notes, one note apart. So you're going to have to go to the next note and then do your counting from there. And that note will be D from B half diminished. B half diminished, 5 being F, and then you count down to D, and then B up to D. Now this is B Locrian, and you see the axis steps here actually don't really have an axis it's just d and d on both uh lines so it goes from d sorry it said d and d you yeah, know it's just kind of funny anyway you go from d on the top line to d sharp e f f sharp g g sharp and then d on the bottom line d d flat c b b flat a a flat and you do your negative harmony from there and the b is substituted by an f so you have an f and then your d is substituted by a d your b, f is substituted by b so you get the exact same chord f d b triad a b diminished triad and then you go to the next one which is a and you'll get a g and you have the seven and you'll have g b d f g dominant seven five chords still in the key of c major and if you do all the extensions you'll end up with key of c major or if you do all the other chords and i have on the bottom here the locrian numerals in the key of c the seven one two three four and five and then the triad negatives you have seven six five four three two and then the seventh chord negatives you get five four three two one seven so you have these negatives and they're the same in all three methods of the uh, whether you use the circle of fifths or the going up to the fifth and then reflecting down and it's the same for all the modes and you end up with the same keys and the same chords be they triads or seventh chords in any of the methods so <clears throat> i prefer the one where you just go up to the fifth and reflect it down so because i've done a lot of reflection so reflecting the intervals is really easy for me so that one I can do a lot quicker. All right, and that pretty much wraps it up, and uh, hope that helps.